And in financial news, the markets were mixed today with the Dow Jones dropping 38 while the Nasdaq edged up 14. Kiki? Thanks, Jack. And now here is a segment that is sure to warm your heart. We have with us a prize-winning essayist from St. Mary's Adult Education Center, Patrick McAllister. And he is here to tell us about the pleasures of cake. Patrick? <laughs> Thank you for having me on the news. <laughs> this is what it's all about, folks. It sure is. I thought it was all about hugs and kisses. <laughs> hey, Kiki, can I get a kiss? Oh, well, you sure can. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, Patrick, you have some thoughts about cake. Yes, I do, Kiki. <laughs> Cake. It my favorite. <laughs> Cake. Let's have some now. Cake. It comes in flavors like chocolate and regular. <laughs> Cake. Don't forget the frosting. <laughs> Cake. Share it with a friend. <laughs> that was uh, that was a fantastic essay, Patrick. Now, what grade are you in? I'm 38. <laughs> Sorry, I did not, I didn't know that. It's okay I, that we all thought the same thing. Okay, um, okay we are getting a, an, a late breaking news right. item from the Middle East. We need to cut away. Patrick, thank you for joining but us. I'd like to stay for that segment if it's okay. Well, Patrick, it's, it's please, very urgent. And please don't dismiss me just because I'm different. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't mean for it to sound like keep, that. Keep. I, let him stay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Give me a kiss. Uh. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, we need to cut away to the Middle East. Uh, reporting live is our foreign correspondent, Paul Marco. Hello, Kiki. Yes, uh, Kiki, I am standing in front of what used to be a hospital. The structure behind me was bombed earlier this afternoon by a car bomb, making it the ninth car bombing this week. Uh, Paul, this is Jack. Do we have any idea who's responsible for the bombing? Uh, I think that's pretty easy to figure out. It's a bunch of crazy Muslims. Oh. <laughs> uh, now, <laughs> Patrick, it's uh, important for you and our diverse audience at home to know that there is a difference between a Muslim and a terrorist. Uh, everybody knows there's a difference between a Muslim and a terrorist. The trouble is that nobody knows what that difference is. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, wow. Jack, Jack, Kiki, if, if, if I could jump in here for a moment. Yes, please. please. Yeah, uh, what Westerners uh, find hard to understand is the concept of jihad, wherein if one dies in battle against the infidel, that particular believer will be rewarded with 70 virgins. Oh, uh, that's stupid. Everybody knows virgins are bad and bad. Oh. <laughs> Kiki, guess what? I'm not a virgin. <laughs> give me, give me, get. Okay. Give me, give me, can we get some help here, please? Uh, 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 Louis Fritz here with, uh, with, with your uh, winter, uh, your weekend forecast. There's going to be a winter storm that's going to drop some snow on the East Coast. Uh, and uh, back to you, Kiki and Jack. Uh, Louis, I have a question. Yeah, well, I... So do I. Oh, goodness. Why is it that all weathermen are black, closeted homosexuals? <laughs> That is the news for tonight. I'm your anchor, Jack Smith. And I am Kiki Boswell Diaz. Hey, Kiki, did you give yourself a fake Latin name just so you could get this job? Uh, no. No, I am 1 100th Colombian. Oh, please. I can make myself 1 100th Colombian by doing one line of blow. Oh, my God. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> Give me a kiss. So no, no more kiss. kisses. No, Give me more, kiss. no more kisses. Oh, that's kiss. right. I forgot your Latin. Okay, here's a 20. Get busy. Nope. <laughs> 